Hello and welcome to We the People. This past week, the government in an affidavit before the Supreme Court informed India that it was actually opposed to commercial surrogacy. In other words, it wanted surrogacy to only be altruistic without any money changing hands. This right now is in the form of a draft bill, a proposed legislation that could change eventually. But this is in fact the stated position of the government. It, it has triggered a nationwide debate given two aspects. One of course is the value of the industry itself. According to the CIA, the commercial surrogacy industry in India is now estimated to be worth over $2 billion a year. But there's also the human dimension, the dimension of the thousands of parents who actually benefit from surrogate mothers because they're unable to produce their own children. On We the People today, we ask a fundamental question. Many countries in the world outlaw commercial surrogacy. Should India be one of those countries? Is commercial surrogacy inherently exploitative of poor women? Or is it about these women making a choice? Let me start uh, with you, if I may, Dr. Naina Patel. In many ways, uh, what you run in Gujarat is in, in many ways synonymous with uh, the entire surrogacy debate in India. When you look at the fact that the government now is clearly saying, as far as we're concerned, we would like to restrict surrogacy to married <coughs> Indian couples. Now, this raises all kinds of questions about, uh, of course, why single women have been kept out, why unmarried couples have been kept out, why gays have been kept out. But I'm going to come to all of those one by one. At the moment, what leaps out to me is that the government is saying we are opposed to commercial surrogacy. I would say that surrogacy is a contract between two adults who voluntarily enter into it and nobody would be ready to do surrogacy for someone else without money. Whenever somebody is rendering a service mm. and the other person is ready to pay her the amount and when they are understanding adults entering it into voluntarily, I don't see the term exploitation applicable over here. There should be regulations, yes, but that should not be a ban. So you're not opposed to regulation, you Absolutely. don't want this vast want uncharted, regulations. Uh, uh, unregulated area, but you're also saying that if commercial surrogacy was shut down, there would be no surrogacy because nobody would do this under there the love of their There would be hearts. surrogacy in the most unscrupulous way, which is called underground surrogacy. Because when you try to ban something, it rebounds in a different way. Mohan Rao, is that a reasonable argument or do you believe that commercial sur surrogacy because, let's face it, uh, only the poor our surrogate mothers, there is either the familial relationship or the commercial relationship. Why would there be a third reason for anyone to be a surrogate mother? See, there's been a uh, well-accepted uh, 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 res nulli, as it's called, hmm. in law, from Roman law derived into laws of many countries, which very clearly states that you don't own your own body. So your body is not yours to sell or to trade in. It is based on this law that the majority of countries in the world ban it. But that would apply to sex work as well. And when it comes to, se to, to prostitution, a lot of liberals do say it's for the woman to choose. I so why would the, that argument problem, not apply the here? The problem is, you see, we're all so taken in by libertarian arguments in, the, in this day and the age. The right to choice. The right to choice, which yeah. makes no sense because the Lockean idea of choice mm. employs equals. And here we are talking of people who are structurally unequal. Yeah. So the question of choice does not arise. You're saying the word choice means nothing when poverty drives you to make a choice. I'll allow Dr. Nana Patel a quick response and I want to get in uh, uh, Lalita Kumara Mangalam, the head of the National Commission for Women. Go ahead. The, the, it's not choice when you're poor. No, it's not. And would you, would you apply that to sex work as well? You know, in India, this is really an insulting question because no, no, sex why is work it is... Whom am I insulting? Because there are communities where women are forced into sex work at I the know, age of 12 and 13. I so know, the but, I have also, but I have also interviewed a number of women and it's been a very, very complicated terrain for me as a feminist to navigate because you want to uphold choice, but you, you want to hear the woman choose for herself, yet you understand that choice is a loaded construct. So mm -hmm. I'm just saying it's not easy to figure out where you should stand on the question of choice. Would you concede that? Yes. Okay. I would yeah. respond to Mr. Mohan yeah. saying that, why yeah. are you going to the Roman thing? Yeah. Go to the Hindu mythology where there are incidences of surrogacy well accepted. And what does Hindu mythology tell us? Yes, Balram was born to a surrogate mother. Hmm. So it is well accepted fact that surrogacy did exist ages ago. But then it could be argued that many things not existed ages mark. ago that should not exist today. And, and if he says that, like countries like Germany ban surrogacy, but they openly allow prostitution, what is that? Okay, okay. Lalita, uh, usually I know what I think, but I would concede an ambivalence here because it's a, it's a very complicated subject. 
at one level, I have a huge problem with the fact that these laws seek to uh, uh, allow surrogacy for only married couples. There is a puritanical judgmentalism in that for single people, men and women, for unmarried people, for gays who remain tragically criminalized in this country. That is one aspect of the debate. And the other aspect is commercialization. Where does the NCW come in on the rights of women when we are talking about surrogacy? Um, Barkha, let me say that I agree with some of the stuff that you've said is your opinion. But the fact remains that this over $200 billion industry in India has unfortunately today become an exploitative industry for all the talk of ethics that have followed and what is called informed consent. There is no informed consent. The only reason they come into it is out of their poverty. So that's the only choice they have if you look at it as a right to choice. Secondly, there are absolutely no laws around this industry in the country. Yeah. It's totally unregulated. Yeah. And as you know, in India, we unfortunately have a history of having a lot of laws and regulations. Yeah. But there's always under the table, black, black market, whatever various names you want to give it, yeah. that thrives. If you ban also, it, may I, may I just interject yes, there? Yes, also. May, no, may I just interject? Let me, finish. May, may, let me interject also, there. there are other concerns here. Yeah. You know, India has a very patriarchal attitude, as you know. Yeah. This whole thing about a couple, they must have a child. A woman must be fertile. I don't know if you've ever read any of the advertisements that come out in papers fairly regularly and openly regarding uh, uh, the, you know, the search for surrogate mothers. No, Where I, they no, say no, no. fair you woman, see, Lalita, Lalita, proven Lalita, fertility, Lalita, 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 things I, like let, this. Let me, let, me, let me just come in here. There, there is a, uh, we have to separate the strands of this debate. There is the premium on motherhood in our society, the fear of mortality. When women, men are women are considered women only, feminine only their mothers. No, no, but my question is different. Are you in favor of regulating commercial surrogacy or banning it? Because wouldn't banning just create an underground industry where surrogate mothers would not be entitled to any rights? No, still the happen? bill has also said, Barkha, yes. that there will be something like a commission, like the National Commission of Women, the NCPCR, etc., set up which will actually decide who are couples that are... Uh, eligible or liable or whatever word one wants to use again for uh, surrogacy. However, as soon as the word commercial comes into the picture, the exploitation of the poor woman begins. I agree many people may say that surrogacy is better than sex work, but then again a question of choice, freedom of uh, rights etc. comes in there and that's a very grey area in, in our country as you know. Okay. I also agree that perhaps the bias against single couples, unmarried couples, and uh, perhaps That's a terrible parents. part of the proposal, by the way. And you know, we're allowed to adopt. Yes. So why aren't we allowed the to? Why aren't we allowed to have a baby? That single parents and unmarried women. Yeah, and I mean that's a really, really archaic, very archaic aspect. But let, let me let me bring in Dr. Rita Bakshi. Rita Bakshi, you're you're somebody who helps a lot of people who can't have children of their own and and they therefore embrace surrogacy. But there are also fears that have been expressed by people that there are people now who feel it's easier to go to a surrogate than to produce the baby myself. You know, in other words, oh, okay, I've got a career. Uh, I don't really want to go through the travails of pregnancy. Exactly. Uh, let's just get a poor woman who'll rent her womb. How, what do you do as a doctor if those cases come? You're outsourcing pregnancy. First, Barkha, I will not agree to this statement at all, having been in this practice for such a long time, that uh, any single woman, let me tell you, any single woman would not like to become a mother herself. So I don't think it's true, and I, I mean, and even our no, I mean, no, some I, women may not choose no, to be a mother. You know, but you know, no, but but inherently, if you ask me, it is. I I I'm not saying that cannot be even one, but nearly I would say it is impossible. No, no, one woman, minute. No. I have to I have to hold you there okay. because just like I find it abhorrent that single women are not allowed to be parents, I also think it's very sweeping to say all women want to be. Okay, parents. all right. So both both of these formulations exactly. are really problematic. Right. And but, but the but, problem is that all women are forced to want to be mothers. No. Often no. many well, women don't want well, to. On that, exactly. <laughs> on that front, uh, they should be out of their choice. On that front, I will not. Ma'am, conditioning I mean, is, is very all. deep. Conditioning yeah, is very deep. deep. So exactly. we come back to yeah, this word called choice, but carry on. Yeah. yeah, I agree that you know. I think all of us as doctors are very, very strong on wanting to regulate this industry, and we are very happy if you know there is a central agency which will uh, which will monitor each single case 
each single surrogate, each single egg donor, let it be, no, let it be like CARA, let it be like a central agency which will monitor if you think that, the, uh, let me tell you, it is not so unregulated as we think, we yes, have guidelines in place do. and most of us are following it's the guidelines. Implement. Okay, let me get Vikas, Vikas, what kind of questions of law does this raise? It's kind of complicated, right, because, you know, you have Mohan Rao raising a more philosophical concept of, you know, can the body be commercialized in any way? Uh, there are some people who've drawn parallels with transplants, saying just like organ transplants are altruistic and you will never allow a poor person to sell their kidney. Similarly, you can't uh, ask them to rent their womb. Doctors will argue that it's not comparable at all. The risk is not comparable. Uh, the legalities are not comparable. And these are voluntary choices, as voluntary as sex work. Or frankly, it's, you know, labor. I mean, isn't it much worse exactly. for women driven out of poverty to do hard labor than to carry a child for nine months. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> this, this is just a question, not necessarily my opinion. But yeah, Vikas. I would love this country to be as advanced to say that no woman ever should be forced to do this kind of a thing. But this country, unfortunately, is nowhere near that. We have so much of poverty in this country that women do this if they do it by will, by choice, because they are in a, in a threshold situation where they either do this or do something illegitimate. As far as the legality is concerned, the Supreme Court, as early as in 2008, said that this should be regulated. There is a bill pending for so many years. Law why would you not support an absolute? Why would you not support an absolute ban on commercial surrogacy? The commercial surrogacy ban is not uh, required in a country like India, because even if you ban something <coughs> like that, if somebody has to make money, there is no way by which the law can stop somebody from earning money. But the problem will be that what are the rights of a mother? Who is delivering that child? What are the rights of the child? Who and by the way, when the Supreme Court asked the, the government this question, who gets the parenting right? Because at the moment, it is very clearly the commissioning parents and not the surrogate uh, mother. But in their, in their answer, the government has said this is still a matter to be discussed. Well, there are all kinds of grey areas here. Now, I just want to hear from two women here who have opted to be uh, surrogate mothers. We are, uh, at their request, concealing their identity. and. Uh, आपसे पूछना चाहूंगी आपसे शुरू करती हूं कहां से हैं आप नजवगढ़ से नजवगढ़ से तो आप आपने ये क्यों फैसला लिया और कैसे फैसला लिया एक सरोगेट मदर बनने का ये मैंने मैंने यहां आए मैंने पूछे तो यहां पर कोई ऐसा नहीं लगा कि गलत काम है इसलिए मैंने ये काम करवाया आप आपने पता लगाया आपको लगा कोई गलती नहीं है इसमें तो क्यों ना करें क्यों नहीं करे कि इसलिए कि मेरे को थोड़ा परेशानी थी इसलिए मैंने करा किस तरह की परेशानी थी ऐसा था कि जैसा मेरे पति कमामा नहीं रहे थे इसलिए मैंने सोचे कि ये करा लेंगे हमने ड्यूटी करेंगे तो इतने पैसे नहीं जुटेगी ये मैं करा लेंगे तो इतने दिन में इतनी हो जाए क्या करता है आपका पति वो घर में जैसा कुछ दुकान का काम करते हैं अच्छा ये बताइए यहाँ पे ये बातचीत हो रही है कि गरीबी की वजह से औरतों को ये करना पड़ता है तो इस पर रोक लगाया जाए क्योंकि ये ठीक लोग कहते हैं कुछ लोग कहते हैं कि ये गलत है कि गरीबी के कारण ऐसा करना पड़े तो अगर इस पर रोक हो तो आप क्या कहेंगे आपको लगता है कि आप मजबूरी में ये कर रहे हैं क्योंकि अगर आपके पास पैसे होते तो शायद नहीं करते कि आपको लगता है इस पर रोक नहीं लगनी चाहिए इस पर तो एक लिखे रोक नहीं लगनी चाहिए क्योंकि एक गलत काम नहीं है ये जो गरीबों के लिए तो बहुत अच्छी काम है हमने जिसके पास बच्चे नहीं हैं वो बच्चे देते हैं उनको भी एक पुण्य का काम कर रहे हैं हम लेकिन अगर पैसे नहीं होते तो नहीं करती ना नहीं जब पैसे होते तो नहीं आते मगर जब मजबूरी था तो मैंने वो सोचे कि क्या करूँगी ये तो गलत काम मेरे को नहीं दिखाई दे रहा है तो ये मैं कर लूँगी ठीक है तो आप कह रही हैं कि पैसे मजबूरी से किया लेकिन गलत नहीं किया किसी और की मदद की तो हर्ज किया ये कह रही है ये आप 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 अभी भी गोद से हाँ गोद कितने महीने छठा महीना चल रहा है और आप कभी आप कभी मिले आप जो माँ बाप बनने वाले हैं उनसे मुलाकात होती है कि उनसे मुलाकात नहीं होती वो आते हैं मिलने होम पर और कितने कितने पैसे मिले आपको उसके लिए उसके लिए मेरे को तीन लाख मिले तीन लाख अच्छा आपके आपकी क्या रीज़न थे कि आपने इसमें हाँ बोला मैम ऐसा कुछ नहीं है मेरे लिए मेरे लिए बहुत गोल्डन अपॉर्चुनिटी है गोल्डन अपॉर्चुनिटी अच्छा क्यों तो आजकल इतनी बिजी लाइफ है तो उसमें अगर हम किसी के लिए इतना थोड़ा सा टाइम निकाल के अपना ब्लड दे करके किसी को खुशी दे दें किसी को हैप्पी कर दें तो ये हमारे लिए गोल्डन अपॉर्चुनिटी से कम नहीं होती 
लेकिन मुझे मुझे बताइए इसमें पैसे की जरूरत no, मजबूरी नो मैम सोशल वर्क सोशल वर्क यस वो तो कम से कम कह रही हैं कि मेरे पास पैसे नहीं थे नहीं तो आप मुफ्त के लिए भी करेंगी नो यस मैम मुफ्त के लिए करेंगी ये तो मैं नहीं मान रही मैं बताती हूँ क्यों नहीं मानती क्योंकि क्योंकि मैं क्यों अपनी बॉडी को नौ महीने मैं क्यों अपनी बॉडी की चेंजेस देखूं मैं क्यों ऐसा काम करूं जिसमें मुझे कुछ नहीं मिलेगा आपने एक फ्रेज यूज किया गोल्डन अपॉर्चुनिटी इसका मतलब आप अपने लिए और इसमें कोई गलत बात नहीं है लेकिन आप अपने लिए इसमें कुछ फायदा या अपॉर्चुनिटी देखती है तो सोशल वर्क तो नहीं हुआ ना जो गोल्डन अपॉर्चुनिटी है वो सोशल वर्क नहीं हो सकता नहीं वो आपकी बात बिल्कुल मैं मानती हूँ लेकिन ये बात आप रखेंगे ना कि जहाँ पे हमें कोई सहारा नहीं मिल रहा है हाँ. कोई वो नहीं मिल रहा है कोई वो नहीं है कि हमारे लिए कि हमारे लिए हमारे कोई बच्चा दे दे और हम अपना एक बेबी करें और दूसरा किसी और के लिए दे दें तो उसमें तो कोई हर्ज नहीं है मैम कभी कभी डर लगता है कि क्योंकि आप भी प्रेग्नेंट हैं शायद कभी डर लगता है कि आ, लगाव हो जाएगा बच्चे से नहीं देना चाहते नहीं ये माइंड में तो पहले ही सोच के रखना पड़ता है ना कि हाँ ये उनका बेबी है तो उनको ही देना है हम तो एक कैरी कर रहे हैं तो इसमें कोई माइंड करने वाली बात ही नहीं है पहले ही सोच के चलते हैं अच्छा आप दोनों की बैकग्राउंड आप लोग पढ़ाई लिखाई की आपने हाँ जी मैंने ग्रेजुएशन ग्रेजुएशन आपका सपना क्या है ये आप ये जो इससे पैसे मिलेंगे आप उन पैसों से क्या करेंगे बस फैमिली सपोर्ट है और आगे पढ़ना है फैमिली सपोर्ट और आगे पढ़ना है बरखा आई मस्ट यू ऑन योर क्रॉस एग्जामिनेशन यू थिंक आई होप टू बी अ लॉयर यस यू हैव अ ब्राइट इट्स माय ग्रेट अनफुलफिल्ड ड्रीम आई मस्ट शेयर दैट नाउ लेट मी गेट इनटू इन नाउ इनटू व्हाट इमर्जेस फ्रॉम दीस स्टोरीज दीस नैरेटिव्स आर वेरी क्लियर वी नीड द मनी वी आर नॉट डूइंग एनीथिंग रॉन्ग व्हाई नॉट लेट अस डू इट वेल आई थिंक व्हाट वी आर डूइंग इज वी आर अलाउइंग a larger situation and context to go unaddressed and then focusing on the individual yeah. who is trying to make the best of a a situation in which there are no options so yeah. we're talking about choices in a world where there are actually no choices, no choices yeah. in yeah. existence yeah. the other thing is i'm absolutely impressed by the kind of enthusiasm the medical community is showing on the surrogacy issue whereas for the last how many years decades we have seen the medical community remaining totally silent and looking the other way on the whole situation on declining sex ratios so has sex gone totally unaddressed uh, yeah. sex determination tests have flourished and they are flourishing including under surrogacy and we know that so, there is pre selection so would you support a ban so on commercial surrogacy i do absolute i know there are problems because when you allow and successive governments have allowed this uh, situation to flourish for since at least the mid 90s i was uh, mohan was also part of a national commission for women consultation i think in 2004 5 if i'm not mistaken where we came up with a very strong statement and uh, lalita ji could uh, uh, pick that out the government has looked yes. all I mean totally away the Indian Council for Medical Research has nothing to offer in terms of what happens when women go in for surrogacy the kind of treatment they undergo the uh, Edwa a huge amount of medical complications the Edwa are there. has uh, taken up a case of Yuma <laughs> Sherpa who died during egg donation and the whole procedures and there eggs, is no medical research on from. any of this so, uh, I'll allow Nena yes. Patel to come in and Lalita to come in lots there of hands going up should be half a second come to all of you Nena would, and then Lalita Nena I would say that one single case you should not identify you should have a complete study of what is yes. happening actually if you feel that a surrogate is bound to stay in a poor footpath area not do surrogacy and stay in the life of poverty enjoy her misery then yes you no, are correct but the if the government, government get no, the surrogates no, no. have said that's a very no. almost filmy eyes to what you would say that the government that in India India should provide better for house, jobs for provide women. my husband with a job and then tell me i will are you saying surrogate. nana are you saying yes. if the state fails it cannot then enter to, to legislate no, against the choices of these women no they have to legislate but they cannot ban somebody sitting over here cannot be judgmental about what surrogate is feeling and what they are going through they should actually enter and see the life of the surrogate before they become you a heard surrogate from the women. and then say what Lalita, they are you heard from the women did that change your mind at all no it didn't both the women were absolutely 150% clear they the only reason they chose it was okay because it was not a bad thing 
that is they have probably been told that they are not having sex with anybody who is not the person they are yeah. meant to have sex with say their husbands as yeah. per our culture their social conditioning again and I don't see how that is a choice at the same time help another family Vikas at the same time at the same time help another family and the law commission they are being altruistic and being very good people Barkha the law commission Barkha the law commission as well as the Indian Council of Medical Research both have had a paper on this and both have not banned surrogacy both have said that this need to be regulated and when you say regulated for instance when you talk of commercial surrogacy from a foreigner you can ensure by law that a foreigner will pay something like 10 lakhs whenever he wants to do yeah. a, a surrogate case in India they and that kind of money exactly. will really really help and the government can ensure that this money really comes so through yes, before the child is absolutely, 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 absolutely the way to go about okay, 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 hang on, hang on guys, hang on guys, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, women don't get the money, all the, 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 the how do you know that? women don't get the money, how do you know that? no, the law will ensure, I'm sorry Bakha, the model we are propagating is make money, push your genes, GDP on women's wombs and just force them. Where is the force? Okay, Mohan, Mohan, may, may, may we allow those who haven't spoken to yes. speak, Janki? Can I bring you in? I, I, First, a little bit about okay. you. Uh, from what I understand, you chose to adopt. Yeah, I did. What it, made you adopt instead of, let's say, taking this route? I always wanted to adopt so and I thought that I would adopt first as a single woman and then when I got married I thought yeah we decided that we would adopt if we had decided to have a child and so then we never tried to have a child and we decided we managed to adopt but in this debate I'm actually against the ban because I feel like to say that commercial surrogacy will be banned and you'll have altruistic no. surrogacy makes no sense in our country because then you will pass off surrogacies as altruistic surrogacy and the woman and under the table. will not be there'll be no regulation of her rights and her interests whereas if you regulate it and you have a law then at least you're able to protect her interests <coughs> otherwise it goes under the table and Absolutely. it's totally invisible and we've gone so far in a way in this whole but mega... But what about the premium that nobody's um, really spoken about on biological motherhood? The construct that makes women feel inadequate if they're not fertile. Well, it's of it course is. a cultural construct, but one of the things is that people, in a way, adoption... I mean, one can ask why more people aren't going in for adoption when there's no dearth exactly. of children yeah. to be adopted, yes. you yeah. know? Yeah. Um, and I think that, in a way, adoption is up against this multi-billion industry yeah. that is advertising yeah. very aggressively and is putting this premium on this child who you will be And yet you wouldn't support a ban because you say just go underground, it diminishes the rights of the women further. Let's just get Sandeep in. Sandeep, you were, uh, I think, among the first Indian men to adopt as a single father, which is so much more unusual and, and good for you. How do you see this debate? Because, you know, if, if this draft actually becomes law, then only married couples, heterosexual married <laughs> couples, I mean, it's the most puritanical nonsense <laughs> I've ever heard, but they're, they're the only ones who are going to be uh, allowed to to go in for this? I think this ban is quite a ridiculous thing to be honest because I feel that um, just like what she said it will kind of get under the table and it will kind of spoil things even more. So regularize things. Keep options open. If somebody wants to adopt, they can adopt. If they want to be, you know, use surrogacy, they can use surrogacy. I think it's a personal choice of the couple as well. What made you adopt as a single dad? Well, I always wanted to adopt since I was a teenager and mm. when I felt I was emotionally and financially secure, I did it. Did you and find now it I'm difficult? I'm married, I'm six years married and uh, my wife is also supportive towards it. I think it's absolutely fine. But did you find it difficult when you were... Yes, I How did. Long? The, the How long? The case took almost take? four years four for years? for the case to go through. But I, but so I still felt easy? that I wouldn't want to go for surrogacy. I'm hearing time. Rita say it's yeah. easier to do is surrogacy it? than adopt. No, I'm not saying that. I think, but uh, you know, uh, uh, just to go by Janki again, uh, compare the number of infertile couples and the number of adopted children. If you think it's easy, because we know we uh, the we get patients who have been trying adoption for years together and are not able to adopt and then so come for surrogacy. But you know, there's one line that strikes out that Indu said, and I want to just get Nena on it, uh, that you're growing your GDP on the on the on the strength of women's wombs. Do you accept that surrogacy is just a fancy word for renting wombs? I would say I would not call it renting a womb. I would say donating a womb for someone. You donate blood, you donate womb for nine months and still that womb remains but with you. But you don't sell your blood. No. Here, and that's, that's true. But that regulations say that. Here, this is a nine month done. process. It's not one time. And when you are talking about equal and unequal, the rich who can easily do their household work are employing women who are poorer and making them do the labor job. So where does the equality come over there? 
there also people are unequal in making those More choices. More answer that? I think it's very important to look at it not at the individual level, but we also have to bring in some aspects of the global bioeconomy. Mm -hmm. Okay, it is linked not just to parenting, it is also linked to a huge industry which is the stem cell industry. The raw material for the stem cell industry, which is a global multi-billion dollar industry. No, but are you saying this is a pharmaceutical yes. conspiracy? <laughs> I'm not saying that, but just to think, <laughs> where are the women selling their eggs coming from? Ukraine is the largest seller of eggs in the world. India is the second largest seller of eggs in the world. Mm -hmm. Where are all these oocytes coming from? The global trade in oocytes. Vikas, do you want to take that? When you compare adoption vis-a-vis -vis surrogacy, in an adopted child, there is nothing of you. You may, over a period of time, get, you know, sort of have that feeling for that child. But in a surrogate child, you know that child is you. I mean, it's your, your self which has gone into that Jeez. child. And that makes a huge difference it according is. to me in the attitude. Totally so if somebody agree. makes I a choice for all... I totally I'm totally I'm saying if somebody makes a choice or there is any comparison... Are you suggesting Vikas that the emotional response of a parent who goes for surrogacy and adopts is different from that of a child? Are you suggesting Vikas that the emotional response of a parent who goes for surrogacy and adopts is different? Could be different. How can you say that? It could be different, Barkha. It could be different because there is the element of you inside the child. That with the use of new reproductive technologies and our doctors will tell us that that the surrogate mother may not be carrying genetic material mm. of both parents. Yes. She may be, you may have had an egg donor or a sperm no, donor. No, in surrogate child, it so may be of one parent also. At least it one may one be of one parent, then what about the, the other, other parent? Because 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 what you are actually saying, multiple possibilities. Okay, why do we allow Janki to respond since she is speaking as the parent of an of, yeah. of, of, of a, of a you know, someone I, who adopted? No, no, I'm not, I'm not taking on Janki because I have nothing against adoption. And you know, you are suggesting that the human being is more is so genetically obsessed that you can only love somebody who carries one some part of your gene. Barkha, you can't you in can't catch you me can't in cross examination. I can't catch you in cross examination. Yes, I can. I, I, yes, I, I, can. I, I didn't say that. What I said was that in a case of a parent who chooses to have a a, a a a link with the child yes. is also a choice. Personal choice. It can't be. It okay. can't, can't be. Allowed, can, be can, we allow, can we take questions? We're also going to hear from a foreign couple. By the way, one of the things that almost all agencies seem to maybe agree on is foreigners should be stopped. And why? This should not be a reproductive tourism uh, marketplace. But more on that in just a moment. Your question. Uh, a lot of reports say they that the middlemen are almost 100%, more than 100% commissioned. So the reason why it's called exploitative is because uh, the women not, are not getting paid in a proper manner because a lot of it is going to the middlemen. On the middlemen, I think we actually have somebody here who does mediate uh, between the surrogate mothers and, uh, and the doctors. But Nena, do you want to take that? Or Rita, any one of you on the role of, of, of the middlemen? And if I, I can uh, get you in. Yeah, I would say there are ART banks being set up by the ICMR where there is a check on it. But why say that a middleman will take away the money? The first thing is whatever is the contract. Second thing is the bank account the surrogate should have. But the she new should. draft does propose a central agency that will find the surrogate mothers. It ceases to eliminate the middleman. Why is yes. that a bad thing? I would say that is a bad thing because ART bank will be run, checked, counterchecked. We do not know by whom. In a small town like Anand, we would feel that we would want to directly interact with the surrogate, do a background check, see to it that she but gets the money. But who are these middlemen? Bajrang, aap in, in ko leke gaye the kya? You mean aap kaun hai? Zara apne baare mein bataiye. Aap kya karte? How did you find these women? Do you know them? No. So aap in se kaise mile? That we have around 10 to 15, uh, 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 can say ki coordinators who are working in this field and who are do who do. Uh, counsel these kind of females who are in need. And how much money do you get? They got 3 lakh rupees each. Yes. Aap, aapko kitna milte? Total around 6 lakh we are taking from the patient. No, uh, no, no. From that 6, 6 lakh no, is for no. you? 12 lakh no. well. For their care as well. For their no, 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 no. They got 3, they got, they inko 3, 3 lakh mila. Yeah. Usme se aapko kitna mila? Usko chhod ke aapko kitna mila? Not more than 1 lakh we are going to save for 10, uh, around right. 9 to 10 months. <laughs> I want to ask you, you have a golden opportunity. This is also the thing that people are like Bajrang, take them from the road. If you want to do it, then do it directly from the agency. Why should they get money? Ma'am, I can't get money directly. Why don't you get money? Why do you think you get money directly? Why do you think you get money directly? Ma'am, we will do advertisement that this is a lot of money. Who is going to take care of them during the time of pregnancy? Who is going to take care of them? The doctor should take care of them. Why should the middleman take care of the women? Absolutely. Yes, As per guidelines, he should guide them. No, one minute. 
what is the guideline? The guideline is that the middleman takes care of the women during the pregnancy. It's not middleman, this is an organization we can say. What is your organization's name? Uh, One Health Care. I am a bit confused now. Can can you help me here? Yeah. Why does Bajrang? I have nothing against him, poor chap. Why does he have to get one? Why does he have to get one lakh? And he has to have some uh, agents. Uh, you know, he no. And also, look at how we are talking. We are commodifying. Mm-hmm. We are saying, "Ye three lakh hai, ye three lakh hai, iska ek lakh, isko yahan mil sakta hai." See, so uh, and the lawyers, uh, and the lawyers, the middlemen. Okay, but so, let's so, let's so, let's read a text. I I am absolutely in favor of being uh, directly in contact with the surrogate it's and the donors. You know, because this is what we are we are. Cells are dealing with the parents. We know what is really required. But uh, as far as uh, uh, what uh, Bajrang is doing, he is running a surrogacy home. So he is really looking after the you know what we do ourselves. He is uh, one who is running the home. He is looking after the. But I haven't understood why would you be both opposed to a central aid if commercial surrogacy stays? Mm. Why would you be opposed to a central agency that actually then deals? Obviously, she's saying I advertise thodi na karungi. But if there's a central agency, you could go and register there, probably. I think I, I would I'm feel that I can take care of I'm the surrogate. Against, you're in favor I'm of that. I am not in favor of it yeah. because I want to directly yeah. interact with the surrogate. What is the problem? What is the maybe Anand is a small town and Delhi is a spread out city. Yeah. But there, I know actually why the surrogate is coming there. Then she is counselled about what she should be doing. Guide that okay, this is a hard earned money. This you should even if they want to buy a house, we have people who help her with that also, so that her money doesn't get wasted. And we have got a record of all our surrogates, ninety percent. I'll let you have a quick rebuttal, and then I want to hear from an Australian couple who's actually. Uh, going to go back, having got uh, their twins from surrogacy, Mohan. Actually, the money that the surrogate has got in the Anand Clinic does not seem to last. I have read Alka Pandey's work. My own mm. student did a PhD there, and what they are saying, of course, is that they are repeatedly going in for surrogacy because the money evaporates. I want to ask you both that you are doing this for the first time or you have done it before? First time. First time, and your? First time. And will you do it again? I will get it again. लालिता situation is itself ironical the fact that a woman has to produce a child for in a hugely marketized network when we are laughing at the fact that a woman may have to go back either donate ovaries or go do you know my next question would uh, be is it I mean, a restriction on the number of times they can do this yes, yes. yes. what is and, that and also so that the ga- five deliveries five maximum three yeah. times surrogacy but now in the new bill they have put once but five for, is bizarre no, but barka barka the contradiction that for five yourself you could produce only okay. two children but for surrogates you could put, uh, go for three full term pregnancy yeah, three. okay that is can we can we you know there are women there are women who in this marketized uh, uh, sort of uh, economy mm-hmm. and environment also choose not to ha- not to be parents and reeta mm-hmm. i'm going to introduce mm-hmm. you to one such person <laughs> tell us about yourself yes i'm anjana i've been married for 11 years we don't have kids and it was like it was a decision it was a like both my and my husband we decided not to have kid we did think about adoption that happened in way back in 2012 but then i had a cold feet you know did you feel pressure from your parents i do even now <laughs> even mm-hmm. now if you talk of my parents my in-laws you know it's regular pressure from them to actually have a kid you know somehow in our society mother is like until unless you are, it's a natural progression for a woman if you're expected to be a natural. yeah yeah it is expected like if you're married for 2 3 years you don't have kid that means you're not a woman and you know actually when i speak to my mother yeah. at times i'm like mom i don't have that gene that mother gene and she's like <laughs> you can't say that i'm like i don't feel like you know i don't want to be a mother if at all say in another 2 year or 3 years if i want to have a kid i'll probably go for adoption That's because there's no dirt yeah. of kids in this country yeah. why spend and go through all this thing and you know go for surrogacy let's adopt lalita a quick comment on what bothers the ncw the most because i'm hearing you say that you do want a complete ban on commercial surrogacy the government has also said that in its affidavit is this is this going to actually go through or are you willing to listen to a a, a kind of in between model that regulates no, no. it and protects we and safeguards the rights of, of we women? are willing to listen okay 
No, no, we are willing to listen. But in so far as the NCW is concerned, what we are not willing to compromise on is ultimately the rights of the woman. Okay. And I'd also like to hear flag the other issue that we really live in a very patriarchal country. Hmm. Uh, surrogacy sort of pushes the idea that a woman is not worth being called a woman exactly. if she's not a mother. Absolutely. Exactly. And especially a mother of her own baby, you know, her own eggs. Yeah. So yeah, there are, there it, are it, a lot it, of other ethical point, questions. But you this know, is, it's, I mean, this well, program Lalita, is not long like, enough for like that. Chauth, right? But uh, the NCW Lalita, is willing Lalita, to listen Lalita, to Lalita, Lalita, everybody else. Lalita, who there are many practices. One minute, let me just say this something. This is a draft. Let me just say something. It's not your I was going to say that there are many things that we, some of us may believe are inherently regressive and then you hear women saying we want to do this and what the hell do you do? It's so we have to also accept, we have to be able to listen to women who don't fit our ideological uh, uh, leanings, right? Now let's just bring up uh, Robert and Ella. Robert and Ella are from Perth in Australia but let's just hear a little bit from them. Well, let me start by asking you to tell us a little bit about yourselves. How did you end up coming to India? Why did you not choose something in your own country? Uh, well, my name is Robert and this is my wife Ella and uh, uh, we came to India to pick up our babies about three and a half weeks ago. Uh, they were about a few days early. Um, reasons why we chose to, to do surrogacy, um, well, we looked at a fair few options in Australia. We went to a fair few meetings to, um, to discuss adoption and see people's opinions on adoption and also uh, being foster parents. Uh, and also surrogacy. So to look look at every single option that's available to us, and um, we decided to go uh, with surrogacy in India, which we find out about through uh, okay. these meetings, and we did a lot of research about it and all mm -hmm. that, um, because all the other options were a little bit. Um, what's the best word to say? Uh, very complicated and very time consuming, mm. very difficult. Um, for instance, adoption in Australia yeah. is extremely difficult. Yeah. Um, Australia is the hardest developed country in the world to adopt a child, yeah. both domestically and internationally. Um, on average, I think it takes about eight years and it's quite costly. Yeah. Um, coming from Australia, surrogacy here in India is a bit more affordable rather than doing it in Australia or the yeah. US. And um, we also thought that the Indian system seemed like a good system. Um, there seemed to be... Um, some good regulations in place and and yeah after after speaking to other people that had done it we found that most people well everyone that we had spoken to had had a very good experience but you know Ella, I, I, I heard you say India. I heard you so say to go ahead yeah I heard you I heard you I heard you use the phrase of uh, more affordable and I think that takes me to the next question that a lot of people here believe uh, that that in the end means that only poor women, poor Indian women will be lined up for this, that obviously in many parts of Australia, from what I'm hearing you say, commercial uh, surrogacy is actually outlawed, only altruistic surrogacy is allowed. So how do, are you comfortable with the fact that the babies in your arms have been made possible only because of the fact that there's so much in the end poverty and poor women ready to do this in India? I can understand why people mm. would feel that way, yeah. that um, it would only be poor women. But when I look at it, because um, like I said, surrogacy does happen in in the West, it does it happen does. in Australia and it does happen in the US and it's not necessarily poor women that are doing it mm. in places like the US and mm. um, Australia. A lot of surrogates, or people that choose to be surrogates over there, they're doing it because they understand the joy that they're giving, giving to somebody, potential yeah. um, parents and the way I looked at it because um, mm. I was very reluctant about going into surrogacy initially because because I also had the same concerns that it's poor women, yeah. that they're possibly being exploited, that, um, you know, and I, I certainly wouldn't want to be involved in anything like that. But after hearing about, about other people's experiences and after coming here myself and seeing that how it all works, I don't know, like, like Robert said, it is an opportunity for poorer women to better their situations, yeah. to better their own families. And, um, yeah, that's the way I look at it. Like, you know, she's given us this amazing gift, mm. and we've um, and we've helped her to have an opportunity to better her her life and her family's life and her her, her um, let children's me, future. <laughs> let me ask you a last question. Since you're saying you were initially uncomfortable uh, with uh, with the fact that poor women would be surrogates, do you think it's fair that the women take on most of the risk, but their compensation is is a fraction of what somebody like you would end up paying for the whole process? I mean, do you feel comfortable with that? That can be regulated. Let, let, yeah, yeah. Let, uh, let them I mean, the only way you can, you yeah, can look at that is that 
obviously, as you said, you know, is it a fair amount? Is it not a fair amount? Yeah. If people believe then it's not a fair amount, she should get a lot a larger sum, she should get half of it. Then obviously the cost of surrogacy increases as yeah. well. Yes. So it's going to start costing foreign couples a lot more money mm. to come to India and do surrogacy as well. So this, this is where I think kind of question goes, well, you know, what is fair? And, if, and I believe if the surrogate or, or, the, or the surrogate mother thinks that, you know what, if I'm getting a third and that I, I believe that's a fair amount and I can do a lot with it because yeah. of, I guess, the exchange rate and she can end up with a lot of money, she can do a lot with it. Mm. Um, then I think it is fair. And if, if the mother, surrogate mother, when she's explained how much she's gonna get, if she thinks it's unfair, mm. but then I guess she can get out and she has the choice to say, no, I don't wanna do that. Uh, but then I guess at the end, you know, you do want it to be fair. You do, yeah. you do not want this woman to be ripped off no, because as you not. said, they, they do carry the baby for nine months. Yeah. And, and, and that's the whole point. And, that's, and, and that's, that's, that's of course the whole point. Thank, thank you, Robert Janela. I want to ask you both, do you think you get these 3 lakh rupees इससे अगर ये लीगल रहता है आपको लगता है कि आपको ज्यादा मिलना चाहिए मैम 3 लाख रुपए कोई ये तो नहीं है कि हां हमारी पूरी लाइफ हमारी बिता देगी हमारी हेल्प हो रही है मैं ये मान रही हूं चलो आपने ये बात कही कि हमारी हेल्प हो रही है जी लेकिन ये 3 लाख रुपए ये भी तो सोचिए कि हम उन लोगों के लिए इतना बड़ा काम कर रहे हैं उनको लाइफ टाइम एक अचीवमेंट दे रहे हैं उनको तो ये 3 लाख रुपए मेरे लिए कोई मायने नहीं काफी नहीं है नहीं मायने नहीं रखते कि मतलब ना भी दे सिग्निफिकेंट की पूरी जिंदगी बदल गई आप कह रही हैं कि हम बेबी दे रहे हैं मैम मैं समझ गई मैं आपकी बात समझ गई तो उसकी वैल्यू मैम आप 3 लाख रुपए से जोड़ रहे हैं बेबी की कि ये बेबी इतने का मिल जाएगा ये बताइए आप सोशल वर्क तो आप मुझे बताइए क्या वैल्यू होनी क्या कोई वैल्यू तो होनी चाहिए ना हम तो कह रहे हैं ज्यादा होनी चाहिए कोई वैल्यू ही नहीं है ना कोई वैल्यू ही नहीं है वो वैल्यू और आप क्या कहेंगे आप तो बिल्कुल मजबूरी से कर रही हैं मैम ये बात थी जी अभी जो मजबूरी हमारी तो वो उसके लिए तो हेल्प हो रही है जी जिसके पास बच्चे नहीं है उसके घर एकदम अंधेरा है तो उसके लिए मैंने अगर बच्चे दे दें कि घर उजाला हो जाए उसके लिए तो पुन काम कर रहे हैं ओके लेट्स टेक क्वेश्चंस हियर इन द लास्ट कमेंट्स या नो नो आई हैव टू पुट इन अ पॉइंट आई विल टेल यू दैट what happens in india the problem is the moment a surrogate delivers with me after one year she becomes an agent and she gets another surrogate so our problem is that we have this middleman which is not regulated the reason why probably government is banning foreigners is because you know why are not they are not letting surrogacy happen in their country because they don't want the medical morbidity for their women would you want foreigners to be kept out Yes, yeah, Nana. Nana. I would say it's Why? absolutely wrong. Highest number of surrogacy happens in the U.S. And how can you discriminate that a mor morbidity for Indian couple is fine, but foreigner yes, is wrong? Exactly. You cannot no. discriminate you can't the foreigners just, my or point the Indians. Is, my point is because they are, you know, had our surrogates been compensated three times the n amount yes, they are getting, what happened? Why there are different regulate. packages for why foreign couples? Then why are there different packages for foreign couples? Wherein I always see the surrogate gets the same compensation. They do get. They get more. They get more. If it's eight thousand. Thousand five hundred or ten thousand dollars, they get equivalent <laughs> of the rate, and if the price goes up, they get more also. Okay, let's just get let's just get some people here. Yes. मैम ये जो कह रहे हैं मैडम की बात से मैं सहमत हूँ मैडम की बात से सहमत हूँ ये जो पैसे का मामला है तीन लाख तो इनको बहुत कम दिया अगर इन्होंने तीन लाख लिया है दस दस बीस बीस लाख रुपया देते हैं जो बीच में दलाल हैं वो सब खा जाते हैं तो ये कोई दान पुण्य नहीं है मैडम जी ये कोई दान पुण्य नहीं है अनाथ आश्रम खुले हुए हैं जात पात का भेद नहीं होना चाहिए उसमें धर्म का भेद नहीं होना चाहिए सबके खून लाल है किसी भी जात में से आप बच्चों को खा सकते हैं बच्चा तो बच्चा है जात पात तो हमने बनाई है तो ये चीजें तो गलत है पैसा लेके करना धर्मपुर का ना नाथ आश्रम में बच्चे बैठे हैं उनको आप वहाँ से अडॉप्ट करो इन्होंने बोला की ये समाज सेवा है ये समाज सेवा में ये शुभ सुना था जैसा काम करें और देखिए शोभा क्यों नहीं देता इसमें मोरालिटी क्या है इसके अंदर और भी समाज से और बहुत काम है बहुत वो उनकी मर्जी है उनकी मर्जी तो इनकी मर्जी से चले या हमारी मर्जी भी हो ये है ना कि औरतें जो है ना उनको औरतें करे तो जजमेंट ना करे तो जजमेंट यही तो मुसीबत है मुसीबत है द सैडेस्ट थिंग is that they think that a child is the only source of happiness and that's what's been embedded so gravely into these women's minds as well that they think that they're doing something really great by giving a child 
why do we attach such greatness to the notion of a child <laughs> that you have to accept then is it the psychology of mortality okay is it mortal is it the fear of mortality that you want some little bit of yourself to carry on or is it the is the pressure essentially on women it's not on the women the women themselves if you have enjoyed motherhood once you would I, know what it means to I hold a baby and it's each one's individual choice a person may be happy without a baby but a person would do anything go to any extent to have a child in his her in his or her hand like this single person plus, who has plus adopted. civilization will come to an end barkha people start thinking that child is not necessary exactly. so the whole no, civilization no, no, no. why no, not no. why no, not we will say have you seen a country in the population no, we are not coming to an end but to say no, 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 no. barkha if you see what has happened in china <laughs> you seen what has happened in china yes they went into they, one child policy they went into yes. one and what are they yes, facing yes. now they got a aged population they don't they don't know where their workforce is going to come and they are reversing that again So let me let me get Janki. Let me get Janki. Janki, the psychology of this is something that you know some people see it as the pressure on women and that women feel incomplete if they're not mothers. But it could also equally apply to men. I mean, I, you know, you have Sandeep sitting here. This to be a parent is sometimes a, is a compelling need in both men and women. So can we dismiss it in a sort of feminist way, saying, okay, this is just the premium on on motherhood? No, I I wouldn't say that. I mean, but I feel that people need. should have the right to be single and to also have the right to be without a child to yeah. not have a child and i think that's a choice that people exercise and they choice. must have the right to exercise that a lot of i mean people have chosen not to have so children the, well i agree with um, you because i think uh, it's a complete personal choice whether you want to have a child you want to adopt a child you want to be single you don't want to be single you want to be gay lesbian whatever it is yeah. i think it's a completely per person person yeah person live and let live okay yes let's okay. just take a last last question here then i have to take last i have a couple of points to make first of all uh, ma'am said that uh, these all these are uh, not a deal between informed citizens because one is equal one is not equal then i have, I have to uh, counter question this point that many such things are <coughs> between unequals if we talk about labor policies exactly. child child That's labor what you even even these are unequals they yeah. do this out of poverty if we, if this is not harming any other individual then what is the harm in there i'm quite surprised that till now the mental health of the surrogate mothers how come that aspect has not been uh, discussed yet because pregnancy involves a lot of emotional support a lot of care from the family from the loved ones but what about the mental health of the surrogate mothers and here are two instances just from uh, nearby uh, you know uh, delhi uh, najabgarh and all but there have been lot of women in our country from andhra pradesh before it was divided and uh, they they absolutely you know they can't even voice uh, their what opinions they what, what they feel what well, lalita last word to you the ncw is committed to see that the rights of the women are protected but we also need to look at the rights of the children who are born out of this and that has been so far a neglected topic yeah, yeah. this uh, bill is a draft bill i agree mm -hmm. that it's a, it's i mean the third or uh, second or third draft bill yeah. but it's not yet been finalized there are still uh, there is still an opportunity to adapt some of the less uh, perhaps uh, agreeable or less yeah. uh, acceptable points of view in the bill and that's what i'm saying that you know whatever you do decide there has to be some regulation because that regulation is needed uh, you know for the right to ensure the rights of the women which at the moment i think really is 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 in the background so we we'll leave it there we hope to see a more concrete discussion this time and not just another few years before another draft bill thank you very much to all of you thank you